Hey guys, so it's me, Sharma7. Thank you for coming. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me. Can you subscribe? Just, you know, there's a button down there or here. Just, you know, just press the button that says subscribe. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, let's go on with the video. So, a lot of my male booze told me that something that they would be very interested in seeing on my channel is that consisting of skincare. So, let me just give you guys a little background of myself. So, I'm an oily face skinned girl. My face is the only part of my body that is oily. Other than that, my skin is kind of on the drier end. So, the skincare that I use for my face is typically geared towards those who have oily skin. So what I'm going to do is just do a brief rundown of the products that I use on my skin on a daily basis. And the products that I'm going to review, it's, it's not in its entirety. So what I will do is I will commit um a daily not a daily i'm sorry um a weekly episode dedicated to that of skincare so this is going to be the first one out that's being launched today is a wednesday so that means every wednesday there will be a video out dedicated to skincare so let, let's let's just let's just jump into it so i already explained that my face is extremely oily so what are some of the things that I do to control the oils on my face? Because they can get a little rampant. They can get a little out of hand. Um, some of the things that I'm going to mention may sound a little silly. So one of the things is water. Like water. I drink a lot of water. And it really does affect um, how oily my skin gets. Now I'm not a doctor or a dermatologist or anything like that. So I can't give you the ins and outs as to exactly why that works, but I know from experience that if my water game is on point, my face is still gonna be oily, but it doesn't produce as much oils um, as it does when it gets a little out of hand. When I say a little out of hand, I mean looking as if I wash my face with fried chicken grease. Um, so I notice when I drink a lot of water, um, that helps eliminate that look um, on my face. Another thing is, and this is this this me sounds silly, but making sure my pillowcases are switched out often. I know that sounds weird. It's like, wait, what does pillowcases have to do with oily skin? It just doesn't make any sense. It actually does. Um, so I'm a natural hair to girl, so I put a lot of oils and moisturizers and stuff on my hair. Um, obviously those products can end up, I mean, I put it on a scarf and a silk bonnet and all that good stuff, but you know, those products do end up on my pillowcase. So if I'm not switching out my pillowcases often, that means all those oils and moisturizers are now going on my face which ends up making my face produce even more oils. And that ends up with my skin actually starting to break out. So one of the things, one of the many things that I do is making sure that I switch out my pillowcases often. Does that sound weird? No, okay. <laughs> my cousin is here. Um, what's another thing that I do? Okay, so now I guess we're going to go into products. So, obviously cleansing my face so I cleanse my face I'm gonna be honest I usually I try to cleanse my face in the morning and in the evening but I'm gonna be honest with you I have a six-year-old dog at home when I get home he wants to play I am tired sometimes washing my face is the very last thing that crossed my mind so if I'm on my best behavior which I am some of the times um, I'll make sure that I cleanse my face before I go to bed. If I'm just too tired to do so, what I do is, oh gosh darn it, I have to get up. Okay, hold on, just, just sit right there. 
Okay, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so what I'll do is, what I'll do is I'll wipe down my face with um, these Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Cowlets. These are a lifesaver for so many different reasons. First reason is it's 99.1% natural. We like that. Why do we like that? Because you're dealing with a girl whose skin is extremely sensitive. Like just about anything can break me out. That's how sensitive my skin is. So late at night, it's time for me to wash my face. I don't feel like it. I'll get one or even two of these and I'll just wipe my face down with this. Um, maybe even more if I'm wearing makeup. Um, these are amazing. Actually, no, if I'm wearing makeup, I'll use something else, but that's a different video. Um, but these, can you see it? These are a lifesaver and this type as well. So they have different ones. Get the sensitive skin one. The sensitive skin one I like. They actually have one that's geared towards oily skin and I wasn't a fan of it. Um, those actually for some reason made my face produce even more oils it was just ridiculous so this 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 i totally recommend to my oily skin men and women out there um these are also good not just you know at night um in the middle of the middle of the day um you may feel like you need to wipe down your face like if you see your skin starts producing a lot of oils or whatnot it's starting to look a little fried chicken like um, I definitely recommend carrying these around with you, taking out one, just wiping down your face, and you're good to go. I personally do not put moisturizer on my face after using these. So I don't know if that's going against, like, <laughs> you see this one? You see this one? <laughs> Is your skin oily or dry or combination? combination. She has combination skin. Okay. Um, but <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? So I definitely recommend carrying these around with you, like in the middle of the day or whatnot, when you feel as if, you know, your face is getting a little oily or if you just feel as if your face, there's stuff on your face. Like these are really good. Huh? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What if I don't like it? Then I'm going to tell everyone that I don't like it. Oh, I haven't tried these. I love them. That's my favorite. Okay, so my cousin, what she uses are these. These are collagen and vitamin E cleansing sessions. Okay, so I have to try these. Oh, thanks, girl. Okay, I'll, so she's going to give me one tomorrow. What I'm going to do is use them for a few days, and I'll review these. So she lives by these. Um, yeah, working at a nap, yeah, I'm going to eat EMS. You always got to like these. <laughs> yes, you want to get that gunk off. Okay, okay, okay. So moving on. So that's like my emergency. What happened? It's oh wow. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. I'm not even gonna repeat that. <laughs> okay. So now let's get into the nitty gritty cleansing our face. So one of the products I use is by. A brand I've been obsessed with for years and I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say almost a decade now um, and that is Peter Thomas Roth so what I use is his anti-aging cleansing gel so I'm gonna be very frank with you guys forever I've been very hesitant or reluctant using anything that said anti-aging or anything dealing with aging like I was like nope I'm not going to use it absolutely not why I don't know like don't say oh okay she's asleep I was expecting okay she's not asleep um firstly my skin is very youthful um so using anything that's this anti-aging I'm like oh nope don't need that um and I don't know I always had like this negative I don't know this negative feeling with anything that said anything in regards to aging I don't know why I don't know why but in any case I was in Sephora some time back and one of um, PTR's reps were there and she asked me you know what products do I use in the line and I 
told her and she asked the reason why and I did and she recommended this and I'm going to tell you I love this product so this product is one of the few products that I own that is for all skin types so you can have oily skin you have you can have combination you can have dry skin this is for all you guys out there although it does say on the bottom in the fine print that it is not for people with sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin you may want to steer away although with that being said I have some sensitive skin and I love this stuff um, what this product does for me which it will do for you guys is it will keep your face balanced so after I wash my face with this product my face isn't dry so it doesn't feel as if it's stripping all of these oils from my face and it doesn't feel oily neither so clearly it's getting rid of the excess oils but it's keeping what needs to be um in your skin in your skin if that makes any sense so this is a really phenomenal cleansing product i love it so much another cleansing product that i use is by lush and i mean if you're a lush and you already know what I'm about to mention. This is called Dark Angels. So Dark Angels is a charcoal cleansing, um, cleansing product and it's amazing. So it claims that it brightens. I don't know. I will say yes. I agree that it does brighten the skin because I had, you can still see like there's a little bit of discoloration here. You really can't see it any longer, but it was like really dark here due to um, break, breakouts that I had in the past. And I will say that that discoloration went away due to this product. Um, this product is really good for getting rid of those excess oils. Um, okay, so when I finish cleansing my face with this, does my face feel balanced? Yes. It does. It absolutely feels balanced. Although, with that being said, and I'll read if this is for all skin types. With that being said, I don't know if someone who has dry skin would appreciate this. I'm thinking that this may be a little too drying for someone who has dry skin. Or maybe not. It doesn't specify. But I love this stuff. Although with this stuff, what I would recommend, because it is made out of charcoal, and as you guys know, if you use charcoal, charcoal can sometimes um, stain the skin. I don't even know if stain is the correct um, word. So what I would do from time to time is, you know, I'm in the shower, my face is a little damp, I'll put the cleansing um, cleanse, cleanser on. I am tempted to call it a scrub because it, it really does exfoliate the skin. When, you, when you're putting it on, it feels a little grainy. So it feels as if not only that it's, a, it's cleansing, but it also feels as if you're giving your face a nice um, exfoliation as well. So after you put it on your skin and whatnot, sometimes what I would do is, I, <laughs> I'm not using this because this is hella expensive. Um, what I'll do is I'll get one of my, um, I have a Burt's Bees, um, brightening cleanser, um, at home. So sometimes what I do is I get a little bit of that and I'll rub that on top of the, I'm so tempted to call it a scrub, on top of the cleanser to make sure that, um, there aren't any like black residues, you know, left on my face. Um, you don't have to do that. Um, I do that because some, you don't want to leave the apartment and there's like a black streak here <laughs> that you just missed. But yeah, so this is really good for getting rid of those excess oils. Your skin does not feel dry after using it. And it really feels as if it um, cleanses your skin really well. So these are the two like everyday cleansers that are really good for us oily skin people. So what's the next step? The next step is using a toner.